Hey guys, welcome back to Tales of the Abyss. In the last part, we completed pretty much every remaining side quest except for the hidden dungeon. So what we're going to do now is exactly that. So what you need to do is after seeing the final scene in Eldrant right in front of the staircase before Van, go ahead and come to Sheridan and run up to these two guys and let's talk to them. Ah, it reacted. That means the signature we found must be correct. What are you doing pointing weird phone machines at people? I'm sorry, this is a replica detector that we constructed under orders from His Majesty. A replica detector? Yes, we were told that we needed a machine and to distinguish replicas in order to protect them, but... But? This phone machine reacts to replicas and to currently active Fomacry. When we tested it out, we detected a phenomenally strong replica and Fomacry signature from the direction of Orshan Cavern. Our Orshan Cavern is thought to be where Disk conducted its experiments. Yes, we thought perhaps it was a malfunction, but it seems the device is operating properly. I wonder what's going on. I hope no one's trying to continue Dist's research. Yes, there's an eccentric engineer who fears that very thing. He says we should excavate the deeper part of Orshan Cavern where the signature originates. But it's dangerous, and we don't have the funds, so the project has been discontinued. Who's the eccentric engineer? He's in the meeting hall. His name is Sheba. Do you mean Sheba who has a dog named Peko? Yes, that's right. You know him? He yes. I want to see Peko again. And yes, I believe that if um, that name is intended to be pronounced in the Japanese-ish or Japanese-ish sounds, it's Peko, not Pico. If it was Pico, it would be an I. But no, it's an E, so eh. Anyway, go ahead and come to the meeting hall, and hey, it's our old pal Shiba. Yeah, he's not really much of a pal. He's just a guy. Well, he did help us get Mewfire, too, but hey, it's you. It's a black screen! And now it's us again! I see you heard about the deaths of Warsh and Cavern. I agree that it should be excavated, but as you know, that place is covered in mirror stone, and it costs a lot of money to dig through it. How much would it cost, exactly? One dig should be somewhere between 2,000 and 30,000 gold. Why the comma for the 30,000 30, and not the 2,000? That's a wide range. There's quite a range in the strength of mirror stone. Hmm, I could probably get that much if I ask uncle or father. But His Majesty and the nobles are opposed to the excavation. With Eldrin already an issue, they say there's no need to deliberately bring about more danger. Well, there's certainly... Okay, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we're going to use our own money. Okay, let's just go. I'm getting tired of this conversation. Okay, we can't ignore it, and we can't let it let alone. All right, we heard him. What should we do? Well, once you've got those funds together you were talking about, let me know. I'll bring excavation equipment and the detector and go with you to Orshan Cavern. Uh, what about Peko? This time around, I'll have to leave him here. It's going to be dangerous. Oh, good. Of all the things to be worried about. <laughs> and not, well, don't worry about us. We'll be fine. Just worry about the dog. Okay, anyway, go ahead and talk to him again. And once you're ready, and ready. Now let's head for Orshan Cavern. All right, and he will teleport you straight there. Now, uh, once we enter the dungeon, um, well, Whatever, you know, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna post a link to a map of the dungeon in the description, because this is a quite an extensive dungeon. Well, not extensive, but it's confusing. Just, just check out the map, you'll see. And once we get in there, you'll see what I mean. Here, there's a strong signature from this area. Something's going on behind this wall, huh? Yeah, let me take a crack at it. We don't need to pay? First one's free! Hey, what are you, a drug dealer? And yes, Sheba's digging all by himself. Dang, he's one fast digger. I mean, geez, it's like a good 12 foot tall entrance. What the crap? Okay, anyway, once you... Oh, uh, well, I went through all the trouble. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, once you dig there, as you can see, that bridge is completed, and there's an exit out of Orshan Cavern that can take you right here. So, yeah. Once you leave, um... You can just come right back in. There is no penalty whatsoever for leaving the dungeon. Just letting you know. So, if you need supplies, just go ahead and go out and get them. And the music is here is really creepy. Mew, I feel really scary monsters in here. Yes, it's not a pleasant feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm? This phone machine, it's Fomacree. How many phone machines aren't Fomacree? I see. This is bad. What's up? This Fomacree is creating a replica of the wall we just dug through. In other words, after a certain time, the wall will close and we'll be trapped inside. I've never found that to be true, so don't let that alarm you. My, why would they build such a thing? To stop holes from being opened in the walls, I imagine. 
to stop people from coming in? I suspect the opposite. They probably created something... bad. Otherwise, they wouldn't have made this silly machine. You mean there's something in there so nasty they had to trap it? Yes. Whoopee! What did you want to do, guys? We cannot turn back now. If we ignore it and that nasty thing you speak of manages to come out at some point, that would be terrible. What are we going to do about this device? If we proceed inside and the wall reforms behind us, we'll be trapped. We can just dig through it again. It'll cost you money to dig through mirror stone. Hmm, yeah, I guess the best thing to do is to break it. Leave it to me! And then Mew Attack. And that is your objective! To Mew Attack all the thingies in here. So yeah, the more machines. And if they're trying to keep something in here, I doubt they would rely on this single one. It'd be best to assume there are others. Okay, then, if we find more, we better destroy them all. Okay, the Replica Lab. The Abyss. Yeah, they called it the Abyss. Okay. Now, play, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And in here, you get creepy music. Okay, now, first things first. Go outside, uh, talk to Sheba, and change your payment down... Wait, what the... Okay, there. 2,000 gold. Make it the cheapest as possible, because this place gets expensive. Okay, now, uh, I might go slow at some points, or I might just stop moving at all. I mean, like, entirely. Because what I have is I've got my map here, and I have it open in, like, a paint program. I have it open in paint.net, and every time I destroy a machine, I block it out. That is really the only way you can remember what you've done and where you are and what machines you've broken and stuff. If you don't do that, prepare for a very long, very annoying, and very, very tedious dungeon. Because you will forget which ones you've broken, you'll forget where you've gone, and um, you'll just get lost beyond all hope of remedy. And you will never remember where to go. And even now, as the map it's, is building itself, I'm already a little bit lost because I just don't know where I am because I haven't built enough. Okay, I know where I am now. Okay, that's one more. Now, as you can see up there, there is three of 18. So, we got to break 18 of these machines. Okay, where am I again? Uh, I think I know where I am. Ah, yeah, that chest. Uh, I know where I am now. Okay, Miracle Gel. Now, in the map, um, there are several markings. Oh, well, you know what? It's all explained on the map. If you guys go to the the URL I've posted in the description, then you'll know what you're looking at. Okay, now let's head up. And I think this will take us to another device. Sorry if this gets really tedious, but yeah, I just didn't want to speed it up. I think I would run out of music. I just don't have any music that would fit this. I kind of wanted to use the Stone Tooth Cavern music that I used in Tales of Dragon Buster for this, because, you know, this is a cave. But, oh well. What are you going to do? Now, if you want to, you can explore the whole dungeon, although I wouldn't really recommend it. It's not really required to get through here. Um, you can probably just get through here just fine as long as you're using the map. So, I'd say hold off on that, but everything else you're probably going to need. Um, you know, you're going to need a map, you're going to need a crazap ton of money. Okay, now, this... Alright, now... Up there, as you can see, that little blue bar that's constantly going down, that is Sheba's health. And whenever you come into these pools of water, you talk to it, and then you get healed. Now, when you use those, it's it heals everything. All your party's HP and TP, and Sheba's health. Now, you're going to be making a lot of stops at places like that. Just trust me, it's worth doing, because they never run out, and... They're always in the same spots. I mean, obviously, I don't think it would really change, but you know what I you know what I mean. So always take advantage of that. Just whenever you're digging in here, um, just if you ever start to get low, go back there and heal. Now, if you get caught in a fight and it takes a long time, Sheba takes a lot of damage, or he gets really tired. I don't really know what it's displaying if it's like stamina or health or whatever, but. You need to try to avoid fights as much as possible. However, you see those birds up there? These birds are the most uh, generous money givers in the entire game. I'll show you. Okay, here. Uh, Mew Fire. What you need to do is hit that thing with Mew Fire. It goes up, it hits the bird, and then it gets sucked to you. 
Now these are called, what are they again? Uh, flitters. These white birds. You really need to kill these things if you're running out of money. Because, you know, as we've been paying money in here, we've been losing quite a bit here. However, these birds, their entire purpose is to just supply you with money. But, oh man, they give so much money. It's so nice. Um, I'd recommend coming here and just fighting the birds even after you've beaten the dungeon just to, to gain money. Because, yeah, they give you that much. Now, I'd also recommend that, um, well, you know how we can pay Shiva money to dig? The less money that you pay him, um, the more tired he gets, or the faster he gets tired, or whatever. Jeez. Ah, can't talk. Okay. The more you pay, the less he gets tired. And so, uh, check out our money. 25,000 gold from that one fight. And that's only two birds. They can have encounters where there's four. I'm not kidding. And every time you um, fight them, and then you leave the room and come back, they're already back. So yeah, if you ever need money and you're at this point of the game, come here. It's amazing. Okay. Anyway, I would definitely recommend that you only pay the 2,000 gold per dig because it's just too expensive to pay anything more. And even with those birds, it'll become very, very hard to get through the dungeon. Or at least in any respectable amount of time. So, yeah. And also, once you clear through a wall, it, it doesn't get, like, replicated or anything, if that's what you were worried about. Like, if you were thinking that, the walls never come back. So, you can just get all your energy back, and it doesn't get wasted on your way out into new areas. So, yeah. Ah, here we go. Here's another enemy that you're going to want to fight whenever you see it, if you need money, that is. These are golden slimes. I believe this is the only slime enemy in the whole game, if I remember correctly. Um... It's kind of weird. You think in games like this, you know, you seem to see a lot of slime-like enemies. But yeah, right there you get um, 20,000 gold, basically. Let's just say that. Okay, what time are we up to here? I hope it's not too far. Not 12 minutes? Jeez, that's a lot. Okay. Uh, I need to get away, stupid thing. All right, now I need to really step it up here. Uh, okay, let's head up. And... Oh, boy. Yeah, and all this time, we've only gotten six machines so far. And, um, just in case you're wondering, yes, I am going to be going through this dungeon all in one... Like, you know, I'm not gonna upload one episode a day of this. It's just gonna all be in the same day. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, here we got some water. Another golden slime there. Uh, I believe this will be one. Let's see. Uh, yep, phone machine. Or, nope. Mute attack, please. Thank you. Okay, so, um, this is actually the point at which I, on my original file, this is the point where I was able to get through the, I was able to get the bridge built, because at this point, on one of my original playthroughs, I didn't have a million, and so I just came in here and fought the birds for a good, maybe, 20 minutes or so, and I, oh, whoops, I got all the money I needed. And then on my, uh, current file, I came in here and I ground on the birds and I got uh, 13 million gold. So, yeah, that that kind of gives you a little bit of an idea of how easy it is to make money from here. So, if you ever need money for anything, come here. It's awesome. And we're getting close to being done with all these um, uh, phonic these phonicry machines. Uh, I know it doesn't really look like it because we still got eight left, but all these machines, they tend to be centered in just certain areas. Uh, let me see, where is this going to take us? I think this is where we need to go. Um, let me see, what is this? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Okay, yeah, let's try going over here now. Alright, come on. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Okay, now. Um, generally, when you're looking for these things, it's two areas you're looking at. There's the right side, the left side, and then... Um, the upper area and that's really about it once you clear out one side you pretty much know where you're going and then yeah it just becomes easy once you get to this water room go ahead and take the upper um what's what side was that the upper left side sorry and then go over and hit that one because if you don't then you're going to run into a trap room i'll go ahead and show that on the way down i'll show you what the trap rooms look like i mean 
and um, they're kind of nasty, so I'd watch out for them. They damage both you and Shiva all at once, so I would definitely be very careful about that. Okay, one more. Good. We're almost done. We only got five left, and I know where they all are, so that's good. Okay, now once you get up to there on this side, once you start getting really up high on the uh, left side, go ahead and come up here, and we have another healing pool. Yay. All right. I think we, I think it might be a healing stream. Okay, whatever. Anyway, tell us Symphonia reference just to annoy people. Okay, so now I head down here, and we need. There's one more over on this side. I need another holy bottle here. Holy bottle. There we go. I'm glad I have enough holy bottles for this because, as you can see, you kind of use a lot. Uh, once you get here, I think you need to head up. Or do we? I don't think that's where we need to go. Actually, here. Um, Let's try going this way. I think this might be a trap room. Yep, it is. Okay, um... Yeah. Ow, 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 ow. See, that's what happens. Lightning strikes the water and it hurts everybody. It hurts Sheba a lot. Just a lot of damage to Sheba. So if you ever get in a trap room, uh, I would just wait until it zaps the water and then run through. You do have a generous amount of time to actually get through the room before it zaps you again. But I would just try to avoid them entirely because it is possible. There, I think there's really only one uh, trap room that you're actually forced to go through. So I would just be careful. Anyway, take the diagonal route around it because I don't want to get hit by it again. And let's see here. Now we just need to head down and around. And I think I might end off this particular video in just a bit once we get up to the upper areas. And then I will see you back for more of this place. Because, you know, it is we are getting a little bit into the video now. And I don't like it when my videos get so long. Ah, it's 17 minutes. Okay. Um, head up. And once I get to the top of this little, like, battery-looking formation in the map... Okay, you know, whatever. Once I get up here, I'm just going to end it off. And in the next part, we will continue through more of the Replica Lab of the Abyss the hidden dungeon. So see you guys then.